Hello, my friends. Welcome, welcome to a very quick touch base. I would like to welcome those of you who have recently joined the program by purchasing the PMP Exam Immersion book. You're studying with me on pmp.pmradio.org, and that's great. But I wanted to give a shout out to all the people who recently joined. Thank you, Matt and Senyo and Anissa and Tom and Chantel. Also, Liberty, Robert, welcome, welcome to you. Farida, welcome. Oyewumi, welcome. Okpayemi, welcome. Jibin, welcome to the program. And I believe that's all for now. Thank you very much for joining. I wanted to make it very clear what this program is all about. This program is meant to immerse you daily into the world of the PMP project management through the lens of the PMI. It's a very straightforward program. All I need you to do is to stay on track, okay? Every day, give to Caesar. I'm Caesar <laughs> in this world. Give me what I need. I need you to read a chapter and to watch the video on pmp.pmradio.org. Then I need you to download your workbook and please print out the workbook, okay? The workbook is a reminder for you to check off things daily and say, I got conflict down. I got leadership down. And if you're not doing that daily, please do it. Because the more you delay, the more you're not a PMP. I need you to get certified and move on to other things. Bigger, better, more important things in life. Being certified is great, but I need you to get certified so we can move on and do more stuff. Daily, my friends. Daily, daily, daily. And I would love to hear from you how your studying is going. If there are any topics you're finding trouble with, you need to email me, okay? And let me know. Now, I want to give you a very quick overview because it's hard for you to focus when there's a lot of voices, which is why I'm recommending stop listening to the hundred voices out there saying, this is how to take the exam. This is how, no, don't listen to them. Block your ears. Just so la, 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 I can't hear you. Phil is the person I'm listening to. Don't listen to the multiple voices because you could get derailed and confused. If you're with me, stay with me. Everything you need is here in the workbook and in the video. Seriously, it's all there. Now, as you prepare for this exam, I wanna keep you hyper-focused on what is important. I'm not sure if you watched the video from your colleague, Tiffany, who got certified as a PMP a few days ago. She put out some lessons learned there on this channel. Please watch. She shared some very insightful information about the integration knowledge area and how you need to think at a certain level. You really do need to know your knowledge areas. You need to be able to make sense of them. And that's why in the pmp.pmradio.org, if you go all the way down the list, when you get to days 35, 36, thereabouts, you will begin to see videos on the knowledge areas. They are also important, so do watch them. But I wanted to give you this final breakdown. Everything on your exam, your preparation, it is going to boil down to this understanding, this eye of consciousness. I actually have a video about the PMP eye of consciousness. And really all this is saying is, you gotta think about yourself in a product development cycle of sorts, right? There's some analysis, design, development, testing, and implementing. Wherever you are in a project, you, likely have one of these attached to what you're doing, right? And then these are the knowledge areas. You gotta know them. These are the process groups. And then you need to be thinking like this from the top there where we have define, define what a problem is because you will be given problems on the PMP exam. And you gotta define the problem. You gotta identify the root cause. You gotta generate alternatives. 
you got to choose the best alternative, you got to implement the alternative, and you got to verify that that is the best thing to do. That is really the logic in everything you do. It's going to boil down all this, all this. It's all going to boil down to your project manager, you're facing a problem, what do you do next? Your project manager, you're facing an issue, what do you do next? And that's why we have over 100 questions towards the end. And if you go all through the book, you have a set of questions after each chapter to make sure you are thinking about problems. Because your, your PMP exam is all about problems, right? You just got done with this, what do you do next? Which means you need to know what the documents do for you. Project management plans, go baseline. WBS, WBS dictionary, risk register. What is the difference between a risk register and an issue log? What's the difference between an issue log and an action item list? What is the difference between an action item log and an impediment log? What is the difference between an obstacle versus a blocker? And what are the 49 discrete processes PMI talks about? What does it mean to develop a project charter? What does it mean when you say initiating? I've initiated a project. What does that truly mean? How does that relate to stakeholder management? You get what I'm saying? So all of that stuff is going to come to light as you go through the book, as you go through the workbook, as you go through the videos. But please trust the process. Do not listen to the voices that say, well, all you need to do is go take a couple of questions on the study hall. No. I <laughs> just no. The study hall fanatics are out there, and I know it's helped a lot of people, and I don't begrudge them. But for you on this program with me, I need you to trust the process you are on. Stop running all over the place trying to do every PMP mock exam that is is in the universe. No, no, just no. There's too many. And if you're looking all over the place, you will be distracted. So I need you to stay with me. I've been doing this for 18 years. When I tell you to stay with me, stay focused, hyper-focused. All I ask is a chapter a day. 40 days, you should be done with the curriculum. All right, I'm going to get off my soapbox, but I'm going to look forward to hearing from you. I'm going to look forward to seeing you succeed on this journey. All right? You take care again. Welcome to all of you, and I will speak to you soon. Bye for now.